Right, I've had a warm up in the net and this doesn't appear to be a hindrance of any sort. The, re the sender is just clipped to my back pocket and hopefully it will stay there. The trouble with warming up in the net is it doesn't actually tell you much about your golf. Yeah, you can feel it coming off the club face and it slams into the net, but you don't know where it's gone. There's one thing I hate is coming to this first tee box and not knowing what direction the ball's going in. So I've got to kind of like guess. Now, uh, I'm not going to do anything special tonight with the golf. I'm just going to play some holes and talk to you and uh, attempt to tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. Perhaps another dimension to the type of videos I make. So, uh, as soon as the group in front has made it to the green, we'll get cracking. Right, standard three wood. Just going to aim at the left hand 150 yard marker. See if we can squeeze out a fade. Wind is off the right. I've got this funny east wind at the moment. Oh, that one wasn't pretty, was it? Well, I've hit worse. It's just turned over to the left. Oh, that's not going to be good. See, this is what I mean about warming up properly. If you can see the ball flight, you can fix things before you get to the first tee. I didn't know I was going to hit a draw. If I'd known, I'd have teed up on the left and aimed down the right, but here we are. Got 119, I got a six iron. It's just going to be the bunt and run. Just got to keep underneath that limb there. Right down to the end of the rubber and an easy swing. Nice and easy, sir. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'll have it worse. Right, I got 40 yards here. This is a shot I need to practice with the sand wedge and throw it in with some spin. But as it hasn't rained for ages, the ground's rock hard. So I'm not inclined to trust the bounce. Oh, just roll it in with a pitching wedge. Left of the flag. That's sweet. Onto the green, run out, run out. Oh, it's 12 feet short. Simon, Simon, Simon. It's certainly a foot. Just get the speed right. Direction will okay, take care of itself. Yeah, a little shy. Worried about that rolling away, really. Ah, oh, nice bogey. All caused by not knowing what direction I'm going to hit the ball off the first tee, which is something I hate. Well, the batteries on the gear are good for seven hours, which easily covers a round of golf. Even if treacle's playing, it'll cover a round of golf. Three wood again. The only thing I'm wondering is if talking like this all the time is actually going to put me off my golf. Right. Wind's off the left now. We've turned around 180 degrees. Let's see if we can hit that same draw we hit on the first. That'd be nice. Nope, that's out the heel. That's a bit of a skanky, slicey thing. And well short. A little weight here for the group in front. Now I'm not aware of actually wearing anything. I'm, I'm not aware of this sender in my back pocket. It is so light. I'm not aware of the cable or this microphone. Um, 
I might be kind of like swinging, trying to be careful, thinking, oh, you've got something on you, you must be careful. Don't know. We'll find out as we go around. But yeah, I'm not aware I'm wearing anything. And we'll find out what the volume levels are like when we, uh, when we get done and I get home and start piling all this onto the computer. But I do wonder if talking while I'm over the golf ball is a good idea. Possibly not. Right, I got 165, so I'm going with the six iron. The bunker left, bunker right, and of course the right hand side is dominated by that huge tree. Now the wind, we got this easterly wind going this way, so I'm actually going to go left of this flag and let the wind do its thing. Now concentrate on this one, Simon. Ignore the damn camera, mate. A little skinny, but it's going to bounce under the tree and bounce left, and a crap shot is on the green. Well, that ain't bad, is it? 18 feet off a duff shot. The question with this green is does it turn from the hill on my right, or is it going to turn from the edge of the bunker on my left? You know, I can't see anything in this. I'm going to go left edge all the same. Not aggressive. You know, the par's got to be secured. <laughs> yeah, great putt, Si. You pulled it and it turned left. Wow, you read that well, didn't you? Still marked up from the summer maintenance. Right, that's nine shots for the first two holes. Which is bang on my handicap, so Bogey on the first, not what we wanted, but you know, no complaints. Right, one of the things I like to do on par threes is to quote you the exact yardage the club I'm using so you get some idea of what I'm doing really. So I got 197 to a front flag. I mean, the board says 201, I could quote that, but that isn't accurate, is it? Now I've got to get way up the slope on the left because I'm going to run the ball in rather than pitch it on full toss. Um, I've got to go left. So let's see if I can go left. So over there, Simon. Wind's off the right, that'll help me a little bit. Well, that's certainly left. <laughs> Trees. Oh, Simon, what on earth are you doing tonight? Well, I can honestly say I've never been here before. <laughs> These things are sent to challenges. Oh, this has got to go well left. Don't even know the yardage, we'll just eyeball it. How's it going to bounce in that rough? Go on, get on the dance floor. It's going down the hill. Missed the flag by six inches. Got about nine past, so not bad. Well, as it turned out, it's a lot more than nine feet. It's twice that. This is another one of those putts where you're not too sure. Does it turn from the hill or does it turn from the bunker? Especially when it's on sort of like the semi left side of the screen. Oh yeah, this has definitely come from the bunker. 
and it's Phil. Get there. Yes. Now that's a save. That's what I do well. Getting out the mire and getting my par. That's what makes me a five handicap, I suppose. Right, fourth, first time out with the driver. Now I don't know about you, but I like to get the driver out early in a round, preferably the first tee. You know, it's, it's my reliable club and I want to know what it's doing. But Lilybrook, it's the fourth tee. Now, there's a marker post on the hill here, on the shoulder of the reservoir. And it took me a while to work out that I, with my shot shape, need to go left of it. So uh, we will try and do that. I go about three trees left. That's just on the edge of that divot on the tee. Who's taking a divot on a tee box that needs a driver? That's too much of a fade. That's going to be down the right edge of the fairway. Wind helped me out there a bit. See, it's an easterly wind. It seems to have got a bit of a tilt on today. It's, it's, everything's just a little bit stiff, you know? Still, I'm getting old. Well, this is what the hard ground does for you. I mean, I, the ball was out there in the fairway, just fading a bit. Now I've had it. Got about 128. I'm just going to take the six iron again out to the left. See if we can run it down to the front of the green. Anywhere where I can chip and putt, really. Nothing ambitious. There we go. That's going in hot, very hot. It's off the back of the green by a mile. See, this is why I don't like dry weather. I don't like rock hard ground. It doesn't seem to suit me. Much prefer it soft. Oh, brother. I've got a four ball in front and a two ball behind who are coming up fast. So I didn't have a chance to come over and have a look at what I have got and what club I might possibly need. It's better earth here underneath these trees. Just got to pop it up. Well, there's a bit of wind actually, because that tests the microphone. It tells me how much wind I can play golf in. Right. At least I can see the base of the flag from here. Yeah. A bit of hairy golf park coming up, I, I reckon. Or not. Yeah, that, that was the bare light. It, was, it sat on what I can only describe as, yeah, the beech trees, beech tree husks. It wasn't quite there, it was. Anyway, another 20 footer. Trouble is, you get you get into rushing then, and I'm sure other people who make videos are exactly the same as this. They get a little paranoid and they rush and then they, they don't spend the time over a shot that they should. That's just a tiny bit right to left. Oh, got sand on the grip of the putter now. Come on, make sure of this one. See, I don't even mark and clean the ball or... Didn't hit it, didn't read it right. Let's take a bogey and move on. Right then, sixth hole. Three wood for me. Uh, the wind is normally into and out of the kind of like the left quarter. Today it's completely out of the east, so it's coming from over there. Now if I go down the left of this hole, I land on the downslope and I get a real good scoop forward. 
Unfortunately, that means I can reach the ditch. So hopefully I'm going to knock this down the right. The swing is not good tonight. It's really stiff. Oh, God. That's a pull. That's a pull. Oh, it's in the trees. Oh, well. There goes another par. Well, that's a nice surprise. Hit this tree here and it's dropped down here. So I got 160, it's a front flag, I'm going seven. Don't know what the bounce is gonna do. As I say, the ground's firm because we haven't had rain. It only rained when I was on holiday, for goodness sake. Yeah, this isn't sat very nice, so isn't necessarily gonna come out well. I've closed the face on it. It's the left edge of the green. I lost track of it. I didn't see the bounce because the pine trees are in the way. Oh dear. So I've played from way up there and the rough shut the club face and it's come down here and I'm guessing it's in here. So that's a lost, that's a lost ball, which is a shame. So it was only a potato. I saved the good ones for competitions. <laughs> Do you know, I haven't been down here in this muck for about 18 months. It's one of the first things I learned with don't overhit it on six, but with the conditions this evening, I've done just that. Ground's rock hard. I don't think it landed on the path, but it might have done. Anyway. Let's move on. Now the guys who do a bit of YouTube, Chili Dipper, Greg Cortman, Miles Martin, Dave 4 to 4, they all know the paranoia of being pushed backwards into the game behind you. Because the game behind you doesn't see the four ball up there who's hacking. What they see is a guy with a camera. I'm always afraid that someone's going to make a complaint. So uh, I try and get a move on. Sorry, someone's teeing off on five and I'm just trying to be quiet. Five and seven are right next to each other. Oh, that wasn't pretty. It was better than mine though. Right, so talking is no, not talking to camera. Describing what I'm doing to camera while I'm trying to hit a golf shot is, is another thing I'm going to have to learn. Or just simply not do it at all. Just mutter things when there's something useful to mutter. Rather than having to come back to the camera. See, with the phone, I got used to the idea that you had to come back to the phone to actually say something. And then when I got the external microphone, it was a bit the same. Um, I felt like I had to, now I've got this, I can, I can point wherever I want. I could walk up there 50 yards if I wanted. But um, yeah, it's a skill to learn. But again, this is a test of the microphone and the equipment, not necessarily me showing off my golf. So I'm gonna make this the last hole that I'm gonna video. And I'll put all this gear away and then I'm going to see if I can play a bit of golf as opposed to uh, what I'm doing at the moment. So, uh, cheerio. 157.7 iron. That's what I normally do is I just tell the camera what bat I've got. Well, that's right down the banner. That's all it's down to the length. Bounce. Yeah, it's dribbled off into the middle of the green. Right, I'm short. 
and quite deliberately short. You don't want a downhill putt on this green. This is just off the left a little bit. That two ball is really pressing now, so I've got to get on with it. Turn, go on. Oh, it's a par. Which is better than the lost ball of the last hole. Such is life.